Hello, friend Mormo here, the horror host who loves to learn and loves to earn money online. And today we're looking at how to make money with art cards. And uh, this is something I'm really interested in. Um, I used to collect art cards when I was young. My first drug dealer was really into art cards. And I remember I me and my friends would get high and look at all of the art cards and stuff and uh, one year I went to comic San Diego Comic Con and got a bunch of promo cards and stuff like that and then traded them to this guy and uh, they're really fun and art cards are awesome let's just watch the video today I want to talk with you about eBay for a minute you know, good old eBay has been around since 1995 and is still going strong as ever. Every platform has hidden markets on them. If you study them close enough, you can find those markets. On eBay, there is a market that has been going strong for years and shows no sign of letting up. It's all about these little 2.5 inch by 3.5 inch trading cards. I'm not talking about baseball cards either. I'm talking about something called ACEO cards. This stands for Art Cards, Editions, and Originals. And these cards are small, original works of art that are released as either one-off pieces or editions. They, mu they must be 2.5 by 3.5 inches. This standard size is widely recognized by collectors. Any size larger or smaller would not qualify as an ACEO. But if you go to eBay, go to advanced search, check sold listings, and you search for ACEO cards, you will find that multiple cards are being sold every single day. Not only that, you will find wild price variations. You will find these ACEO cards selling from anywhere between 99 cents all the way to a few hundred dollars in some rare cases. There is truly no rhyme or reason to it. What we have is a market full of artists and some of them just do not know the value of their own art so they list it very low. A good average price for these cards is between 5 and 15 bucks. However, you'll find tons of great looking cards for between one and three. It would be incredibly easy to take the position of art card dealer and buy the underpriced cards and relist them at a fair market value. Simple arbitrage. The beauty of it is you wouldn't even need shipping supplies. The cards would come to you when you purchased them and you could resend them out to the new buyer in the same packaging when you sold them. This is minimal effort, minimal investment, and maximum return on investment. Are there other markets like this one? Of course, but this one is such a solid li hot little market. It's just unique right now. Very easy money in my opinion. Of all these side hustles and quick cash strategies that I have talked about with you today, I saved this one for last because it was the one that seemed the most fun to me. Everybody is different. I wonder which of these side hustles and quick cash methods resonated the most with you. Which do you think you might try? Be sure and comment back and let me know. Okay, so there you go, friend. You can buy the art cards and buy the undervalued ones, hold on to them for a while, or immediately re-upload them at a higher price, and it's simply arbitrage. And this could be a really fun little side hustle, and they'd be easy to ship. And uh, you can just do it all on eBay. eBay is the first place I made, made money online. Back in the 90s, I worked in a thrift store and I'd buy stuff at a discount and then list it on eBay. And, I, and back then, that was before PayPal, so 
I would get checks in the mail and I would just have a stack of checks every week that would supplement my income and stuff and uh, it was really good while it lasted um, when I owned a bookstore I used to make side money on eBay selling paperback books and I uh, just started having problems with the post office so I had to stop doing it but uh, eBay is definitely a good way to make money and flipping art cards would be really fun. Like how fun would it be to be an art dealer and have an art business and everything? I'm also interested in creating art cards and being artistic and making my own art cards and selling them and flipping them and stuff. I think that would be really fun too if I could figure out how to make the art cards. I'd really enjoy that too. And if you want to know other ways to make money, the best ways to make money online, I got a link in the description for three uh, free products on Warrior Plus. And uh, you can check them out. And uh, they teach you how to make money online and they're free and they're really great. So just click the link in the description. And thanks so much.